Okay, so I have the membrane, the bubble here. Now I have this, um, a thread hoop that I'm gonna try and lay. I did cover the thread in uh, soapy water so that way it doesn't, it's like more like, um, it doesn't pop it, you know? So now our next thing is I'm gonna put my, pop the bubble in the center. So this is really what I wanna show you. Um, this is, imagine that the soap film is the lipid bilayer. Now this thread circle uh, represents a transmembrane protein. Rocco, can you turn that down a little bit? So if this represents, oops, my water's getting too bubbly. But if this represents one of those transmembrane proteins, you can see when we talk about the fluid mosaic model here. Oh, sorry, Max. Ah, okay. Well, now it's there. Hold on. Let's see. So this here, if I pop the center, hold on, hold on. What you could, oh, look at that fluidity. Okay, okay. Um, but anyway, so if I take like this pen right here and I pop the center, I'm trying. Oh, there you go. So now you can see how I can stick my finger through there, but you can also see how it can move throughout the membrane. So transmembrane proteins are not locked in place in a cell membrane, but rather they're able to be moved around. But because of their non-polar, oops, center, um, they uh, don't pop out of the membrane. Okay, so here you have, like here's that thin flexible membrane again, and we can, I just wanted to show you, like here's a tack or a push pin, but I covered it in soapy water, so it's also, like pretend this is the nonpolar uh, cell membrane, and then here is the nonpolar uh, molecule like carbon dioxide. So you can see how we'll do that. Oop, it goes right through. Did it pop the cell membrane? Yeah. Wait, hold on. I dropped it too fast. So you can go right on through. Is it popping? No, it's still there. Oh, there it is. Okay, so anyway, I just wanted to show that. Um, can you see? Is it there? Oh, it's yeah, still there. It's still there. Okay. You can see there. And so you can see how that would be how like glucose, not glucose, oxygen or carbon dioxide can go through. I also wanted to point out how the cell membrane is thin, it's flexible and it's fluid, but it's also self healing. So like if you had like, you know, if it goes through here, how the cell membrane, like if you pull the straw out, it closes up that opening. So the lipid bilayer will like fuse back together. So it's like a self-healing um, thing. Ooh, except for when you pop it. Okay, that's all.